Welcome back, everybody. It is National Dairy Month, and all month long, we are celebrating the Wisconsin farmers. A couple of weeks ago, I went to a farm near Waterloo and learned a whole lot about happy cows, good cheese, and sustainable farming. Check it out. The dairy industry has a rich and proud history right here in Wisconsin. I'm at the Crave Brothers Farm, and they are continuing that tradition by creating award-winning cheeses, and they're doing it sustainably. Let's learn more. We moved to Waterloo in 1980 with uh, roughly 70 cows and today we have about 3,400 cows and we farm about 3,000, little over 3,000 acres. So every day we produce fresh mozzarella, mascarpone, queso Oaxaca, braided string cheese, and fresh cheese curds, of course. Uh, they don't call us cheddar heads for nothing here in Wisconsin. <laughs> and we distribute nationally from Miami to Seattle. We sell more cheese in Atlanta, Georgia than we do the state of Wisconsin. I've seen a lot of the prizes that your cows have won. So do, does a prize winning cow make better cheese? Uh, we like to think so. I, does you it? Know, yes, Can you clean, taste the difference? Clean, healthy, happy cows that are fed a good, consistent ration. They get manicures, they get uh, yeah. back scratchers. The, the happier they are, the more productive they are. And of course, this is a business also. Each cow is responsible every day. When they come to work, they have to make enough milk to make 10 pounds of cheese. Patrick and Peach, I can't just address one of you. <laughs> we were joking right before we started filming. You said she's a little bit spoiled. Just a little bit. She's one of our show cows. She's been able to travel to Milwaukee, to Madison. That's how she gets so spoiled. She is, she's a beauty. What are you most proud of to be a part of the Crave Brothers? The number one thing for me is, is that we care. Healthy cows, happy cows, they're gonna produce high quality milk and it's just fun getting up every day and making, making that a, a reality. That's what us and all of our employees strive to do. And you can tell that she's happy and healthy and it makes us feel good. Final thing I want to know, what's the key to milk in a cow? <laughs> Gotta have strong hands. <laughs> Your farm is sustainable and that's a big deal. Right, we take the waste from the farm and the cheese factory and produce methane gas. The methane gas powers a large internal combustion engine that turns an electromagnetic generator that generates enough electricity to power our farm, cheese factory, and about 300 homes in our community. Then we further process the, the composted waste into cow bedding that, go, that the cows lay on, and then all that ends up returning to our fertilizer tank that goes out to the fields to grow our crops for next year. So always recycling and reusing, always trying to, everything we do, we try to get two or three uses out of. The fact that the community depends on you, not only for an incredible product, but then to power their homes is, I mean, top notch. I've never seen anything like it. Well, it's, it's locally produced also. Mm -hmm. It's all staying right in our facility and right in our, our little local community here. So the electricity we're using right here and the lights and what we're milking the cows with and, and making the cheese with today is all uh, powered off of our generator. What do you say is something that people need to know about cheese? How can you tell a good cheese from an okay cheese? Well, a good cheese is one that you like because there's so many types of cheeses. One cheese you'd really enjoy that we make is mascarpone cream cheese, which is really delicious and used in sauces and uh, Alfredo sauces and desserts, and we've developed a lot of dessert recipes. June is Dairy Moms. How, how can the community support what you do? Just appreciate that we are local. Uh, throughout the state, north, south, east, or west, there's farms that are out there making milk every day and being processed into really terrific dairy products, yogurt, cottage cheese, sour cream, and it's really important for our economy also. A lot of Wisconsin's economy is rural and it depends on uh, our agricultural base. Well, I love what you do. I love your cows. I can tell that you guys love them too, and I'm excited to love your cheese even more when I get my hands on it. I love Wisconsin that dairy knows. farmers. That knows. I know. I know. <laughs> it's true. I love it too. And I let them suck on my fingers too. It was the cutest thing ever. <laughs> the calves anyway, not the big cows. Right. All right. Well, you can support Wisconsin dairy farmers all buying local 
And for lots of fun information, visit their website. It's wisconsindairy.org. Oh, and by the way, how would you like to win a year's worth of Wisconsin-made ice cream? Doesn't that sound good? And just yes. in time for summer. So go to our website, tmj4.com slash dairy, and share your favorite ice cream creation. Pictures and videos encouraged. The winner will get a $400 gift certificate to Cedar Crest Ice Cream. And Tiff, I loved being on the farm. I mean, you went to a farm. I went to a dairy farm. It's been an incredible experience. Absolutely. I loved it. It felt like you just felt feel free out there. And there's such good people, good families doing good things for the community and for the animals. So I was really impressed. I truthfully. totally agree.